Hi, my name is Jürgen Rinelli and I'm a software consultant. I'm specialized on endpoint management and security. My product of choice is Endpoint Central and today I have great news. There is a new feature called Endpoint Analytics or yeah, Digital Employee Experience, DEX. So I'm going to show you today that new feature on-prem and cloud available. Have fun! Okay, here we are, Endpoint Central, and I'm already within Endpoint Analytics. Um, if you wish to enable it, first go to the Admin tab, Global Settings, Endpoint Analytics, there you can access um, the, uh, enable it and access it. So, um, or disable the early access. And yeah, then let's switch to Endpoint, uh, Endpoint Analytics back. <laughs> Fine, we will have a dashboard with some um, high priority insights. And yeah, just click on it and you will have the troubleshoot affected devices, um, device memory um, informations about the OS version and a lot of insights too. So, but how to start with it? You will start with the extensions. Here we find dashboards, already pre-configured dashboards, uh, workflows, scripts, and sensors. And yeah, go and add those sensors or dashboards. Just click on it, have some descriptions, have, the, um, have some, some screenshots, um, how it looks like. Uh, the same with the um, workflows, what will it do at the sensors and even the scripts. All right, those are some, yeah, already pre-configured ones. Um, as you know, Manage Engine, those won't be the last um, extensions um, they, will, uh, they will provide out of the box. They will come up with a lot more. And um, when you have added some of those um, sensors and, and workflows, yeah, we want to want to deploy them. You go there, deploy those to groups, you name it, deploy only a workflow, one or more, um, deploy sensors, one or more, or you can um, add even um, workflows plus sensors. And you can deploy it to groups and immediate or in a schedule, once daily, weekly. Fine, because first, in order to have some insights, you need to do those deployments. Then we do have those workflows. We're going to click on one, having a look at it, deactivate local user, one of those out of the extensions. And as you see, it is um, yeah, pre-configured with um, uh, start with a sensor, get inactive user, switch branch based on local user status. At the case, the one first case, um, if a user is inactive more than 90 days, all right, then deactivate user and then add that workflow. Um, if not, if it's not that case, if it, uh, the user is, is active, then add the script. So that's um, basically the simple thing here and you can modify this script as well just click on modify confirm changes and you can change it edit it uh, the same way you can create your own workflows adding sensors adding um, yeah your own sensors what you pre-configured or add new ones and add switches, remote actions, and something. Fine, sensors. Let's go in that sensors. Here we have um, those um, I added already out of the extension. You can add, of course, always your own sensors, build them up with um, special fields, build that fields and have that PowerShell uh, script writer in there script arguments and then you have your sensor the sensor of course you need to deploy to your 
clients in order to get them work. Fine, when we have one of those um, sensors here, let's talk about sustainable IT. Yeah. We need to modify that maybe because we don't want to have dollar, we might, might have euro or something else, um, uh, other prices, other currencies, other emission rates, whatever. And the, here is the script writer where you can do changes as well. So that's about the sensors. Then we do have our insights. When we have, um, when, we, when we deployed something, we can have the insights here as well. Affected devices. Uh, we saw that we have, the, we have the devices in here. I have not a lot of uh, devices added in that test instance. It's a um, new thing. Um, let's have a look, experience score. Whoa, that's low. So let's have a look. Okay, yeah, of course, this uh, is an old uh, system I added here. And I do have all the metrics. I can um, change the metrics, filter them, and yeah, I have all my scores. Where is the issue? As well, we have talked about the dashboards, sustainable IT. Let's have a look. I just enabled it, so not a lot to see at the moment. But um, yeah, power consumption, detachable, laptop, your device types, accordingly to the device types, carbon emissions, total cost of power consumption, and something like that. Um, the other dashboards like, yeah, Windows 11 readiness. Now, here within the settings, you will be able to change the baseline experience score. Just drag, drop them. Just um, move the slider. And then we have the categories, the weightages. We can um, change them here for device performance. You ha can do some changes here. We have memory swap rate, even that everything can be changed, can be edited to, accordingly to our needs. Okay, let's go back to the settings. There is the insights as well. Even here, the following performance indicators are monitored. Uh, application reliability, device performance, device reliability. Everything here can be modified. Yeah, there's the remote actions with some scripts. You can add your own scripts here with re defining some um, uh, remote actions. Those um, scripts I have here are out of the, uh, the extensions. Clean up disk, for example. Let's have a look. Let, let's modify that script. Yeah. And there is a script editor, of course. You know that script editor out from the configurations script editor. Cool. That's it about an overview for endpoint analytics feature or the DAX feature within endpoint central. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I hope we will see us again soon.